Hello, and welcome to the ninth in the Japan Times Sustainability Roundtable series today. You know, when we think about sustainability, for many of us, we always wonder how we can live a more minimalist or a more sustainable lifestyle, but it's not really that easy, or it seems to be quite hard. So um, from that perspective today, I am really delighted to be welcoming um, our guest, Saina Chiba, who is a life enthusiast and uh, <laughs> co-founder of Minimal Living Tokyo. And I hope through the discussion today, um, she will be able to give us some great hints as to how we can all make even subtle changes in our lifestyle to uh, be able to reduce the burden that we are placing on the planet. So welcome, Sino. It's great Thank to have you Thank you so much today. for having me. No, it's a real pleasure. It's oh, a real pleasure. pleasure is mine. Thank you so much. It's great. So you've brought some of the, the products um, that you uh, work with, uh, and we'll come to that a little bit later. But mm -hmm. first of all, I just wanted to sort of go back a little bit and um, ask you to talk to us about how you got involved in this. Sure. Um, I've actually, I'm, I'm born and raised in Japan, yes. however, I've, uh, I went to international school my whole life, right. and then I actually went to college abroad in Vancouver, Canada, yeah, yeah. and in Canada, I actually studied agricultural economics and agriculture and uh, food, <laughs> food science. I know, yeah. it's, it's so <laughs> strange, I guess, for someone growing up here, but uh, it was actually the perfect place to study something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, and then I guess I got sort of interested in a lot of sort of organic farming ecosystems mm -hmm. and, um, you know, the, the ecosystems that really make up how we live on this planet. And, you know, b back then, this whole eco thing wasn't so big, mm. but Vancouver was already a very green city to mm -hmm. begin with. There was, for example, a lot of options to shop organic foods, for example, mm -hmm. or free range Gosh, eggs. Yeah. Those were s very abundant. Mm -hmm. Options were available, accessible. And already at the time, I think Vancouver was claiming to kind of be a very green city by 2020, cut their carbon mm -hmm. emissions. And I kind of grew up thinking, you know, spent my college days thinking that was sort of the norm, kind of got used to mm, that. Interesting, right. Yes. Yeah. And um, and then I kind of came back here and I realized that living like that is very difficult here. Mm. First of all, the options are not as